The NHL and ESPN, not exactly two peas in a pod, but SportsCenter anchor John Butchergross has become the flag bearer for the league and for hockey at the network. If you don't play his Twitter game, Butchie Overtime Challenge, you are missing out. One of the few that don't play. Well, in town this week to call Minnesota and Michigan Friday night, we had a chance to sit down and have breakfast. This is Breakfast with Butchergross. I'm a big breakfast eater. So we gave you two. Just look at this. Oh, bacon. Perfect. Bacon on both. I'm a huge breakfast guy. Um, I love the bacon, love the waffles, love the sauce, I love the bananas. And uh, so this is heaven. I'm kind of old school, three huge meal a day guy. This eating five little meals a day. Not you. And look at me. I'm fine. You're a rail. You know, I'm a hundred. A rail? Skinny. I prefer rail. lean. Lean? You prefer lean. Okay. Cut. Ripped, old man ripped. Hashtag old man ripped. Is that a new T-shirt? Yes, it's, that's next. The Butchie Overtime Challenge. People who have never turned on a computer were asking me who they were picking for Butchie Overtime Challenge. Wow. Two playoffs ago. Well, that, that's said, a how good, the heck did you find that? That's out? a good sign. That's great. Yeah, without any marketing, without any uh, advertising, just on Twitter. I'm shocked how it kind of took off. I really. It was just a fun game we used to play on NHL Tonight when you know our show would follow the game. So. Yeah. We'd throw a dollar on the set, pick one guy each team, and if your guy scored, you sweep the three bucks. If somebody else scored, then we just took our own dollar, put it back, and started the show. So just a way to kill time. Now it's an international phenomenon. Well put. Okay. I like how you put that. Yeah. I always love when it trends on Twitter. It'll be like between what did Beyonce have for breakfast, <laughs> Rihanna's favorite color, and in the middle it's Bucci's overtime challenge. I, just, I think that's hysterical. You have good company. <laughs> yeah. That's good company. What's been so fantastic to watch, I guess, as a hockey fan myself, you did NHL tonight. Mm -hmm. Obviously, ESPN's deal with the league goes away. Yep. But then you find this prominent role. You're all of a sudden this advocate for the sport on right. a network that doesn't carry it. Right, yeah. And I, I kind of like that. I like that role. I like being able to say what I want to say when I write my, one of my hockey columns on ESPN.com because we have no deal with the leagues. I don't have to worry about yeah. if I bash Gary Bettman because ESPN won't care as much because they don't have an agreement with the leagues. I'd rather be in that position sometimes than, be, than work for the league per se. Yeah. So I kind of like that role. Tell you the truth, I'd like to get maybe and start doing some of those 30-30 type productions really? for, and for hockey. So I would like to, that's something I want to go to them and try to breaking news. ESPN, let me do a 30-minute feature on Ally Afraidy. But people would love that, you know? Yeah. And so... Can I put a request in for this entire area of Michigan? You want to do one on the Russian Five? That'd be awesome. How good would that be? That'd be great. How about the, uh, the Red Wings? Keeping an eye on them this season and all the troubles they've gone through with the injuries? Yeah. Got to know Kenny Hodden a little bit and uh, really enjoy him when I'm around him. Uh, really a funny guy, great guy. He kind of knew that this day was coming as... Datsuk and Zetterberg age and Lidstrom retires and are obviously they've been trying to put in the hat they put themselves in position to get a Parisi to get a suitor right to get Weber if Nashville was going to trade him or if he went to the market but that didn't happen they locked him up so you know, he knew it wasn't a, you know he, it wasn't a guarantee but you know they had a chance to get those guys when they went to free agency they could have got him but we'll see what happens with the Red Wings because they were always a team that people went to to play for and so now they get, I'm sure he the organization as a whole probably it's like, well, we got to be careful. We, we want to keep that culture. So I'm sure there's some concern, you know, how we're going to deal with this. And they have a lot of good players in the AHL. They have a lot of good young players, right. but are they great? Are they going to be great? They're just going to be good because everybody has good players. Mm -hmm. But the idea is obviously to get those one or two great players. That's a good way to put it. With the, <clears throat> there are a lot of good guys, but everyone has good guys because they're yeah. they're high on Tatar, Nyquist, Anderson. Yeah, and they're good. Tomorrow, I mean, but are they great? Right. How's the food? Food's good. All my favorites. Is that some peanut butter on there? I think there is some peanut butter. I, I think you probably figured I need some more protein to get on my, <laughs> on my muscles. On your rail. On my, uh, I don't my know. lean frame. Lean. My swimmer's build. I'll never call someone that again. I'll no, never lean. Use. Swimmer's build. We prefer a swimmer's build. Yeah. Okay, you had to get change for your car out here earlier, and it resulted in something else? It's hard to park in Ann Arbor. Yeah. It's my first trip to Ann Arbor. I understand it's kind of hard to park. I needed some quarters, so I went and bought a Rolling Stone magazine, and... Here's a shirtless picture of Bieber on the front. So the woman's probably thinking I'm buying this Rolling Stone magazine for the shirtless picture of Bieber. I'm, I just want to see what, you know, the new James Mercer album is for sure. the Broken Bells. You know, what do they think about that? Should I buy the new Broken Bells album or not? You know, I don't care about Bieber. I, I shouldn't I should rip the cover. In fact, when I put the, pic, the magazine in my car, I turn it upside down. <laughs> Reading it for the articles. <laughs> That's all that sensitive. Before. Yeah, got a carbo load. Yeah, big, you got a game to call. Yeah, big big breakfast, nap, energy drink, 
A little shower, get over to Yost, screen for two hours, and call the night. It's a rush. Thank you, people. That was in the waffle shop in Ann Arbor. Great treat. Pretty good insight from him too, talking I, about the bringing some back for I us. I love the fact he's a great hockey advocate. And by the way, if he's going to do if he's if he's going to do a thirty for thirty, wings, abs. Oh, would that be good or what? Yes. I ate all the waffles. Yeah, I know. I, it's Sunday morning. I get up early, come into the man cave. Exactly. <laughs> we had chocolate covered waffles, waffle sandwiches with bacon and cheese. Rubbing in it in now. Should have been, 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 been at my house yesterday. My daughter Jessica made me chocolate chip pancakes. Oh, Five of them. They were great. They were delicious. Look at this. Oh, whipped cream on top? No. You guys are making me jealous. All right, can, we, can we pan over? Can we check out our 